I, I do a little bit of busking. And I spent seven years busking in the squares of Bath because I love music and I love playing it and I'm not as talented as real musicians. But it's great to play with them. Thank you guys, you are tremendous and I love each and every one of you. And everyone who's turned up tonight. I just go out on the streets and I murder every song. But I do write quite sensitive songs and occasionally I write a keyboard piece and I can't even play the keyboards but with modern technology and computers and laptop nowadays once you've made a mistake you can stop and you can start again until you build that piece up into something now I actually thought one day wouldn't it be great as a live event in Bath if all the buskers who played on the streets at seven o'clock at dusk just got together and played an impromptu symphony the one by one, everyone would take a solo to keep it all rather simple. But no matter how good you were, no matter if you just started, you could join at seven o'clock where there'd be, and they could promote it as a man. It never happened, almost, well it did happen once. I came out to bus with my guitar, and the flute player turned up. And he looked at me and he said, I was here first. And I said, no, I was here first, mate. <laughs> And then suddenly, this guy walks around the corner with some bongos. He says, oh, I was going to play this square, mate. I said, why don't we play together? What? And the short of it is, that just then, my next door neighbour and bass player <laughs> walked in and said, hello, Grod, how are you doing? And he knew two of us. I said, I said, have you got your bass in, in your boot? He said, yeah. I said, why don't we just get together and just jam? And that's what we did. So I wrote a little piece, and people came and joined us while we did it. That was a beauty. It just happened completely impromptu, and buskers came out everywhere and all joined in. And I tried to put it somehow into music. <laughs> so the jawline are going to help me out incredibly here by improvising over a piece of music that I wrote on the keyboard. And this is called Dusk Busk. Just give me a couple of seconds to decompose myself. <laughs> I, I, I brought a few spare things. I, 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 we've had some accidents today, like the amplifier blew up. First of all, we all thought, let's meet at Sellers at 4 30, have a nice meal. Don't, under no pressure, Graham, you know. They don't serve meals after 4 30, that was the first thing. So I'm here by myself. For one. So I'm around the corner having a tub of pasta, thinking this is my birthday dinner, you know. <laughs> and then we come in and the amp's all blown up. So I get in a taxi and they pay me to go home and get my amplifier come back it's the wrong kind of amplifier <laughs> and then I said well tell you what on the internet can you just put a little picture up of something that says Grodfest will be here shortly this is we can't get an internet connection either I'm afraid and then my headline act walked in and walked out and I thought this is never gonna happen and then I didn't think Jim was gonna show up but can I have a round of applause for Jim White please Sorry about that, Jim. It's a bit impromptu, but when I first came to Sellers, there was another guy looking around the same way I was. It was New Year. And so I went across and said hello to him. We, I found he, we had a Bristol connection. Oh, sorry, the place we do not mention. But I love his work, and he's going to play for us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, in the meantime, give me a couple of seconds, and we're going to go into dust. Sorry, guys. Are you bored now? You're talking about yourselves. Here we go.
the jawline of Julian Moore. Thank you so much. That was wonderful. Absolutely stunning.